It's amazing what you can accomplish if you actually uh, plug in uh, universal constant numbers. These are uh, all, uh, I use these as uh, kind of a concentration pieces. It's very calming. I create uh, fractal artwork when I've got about 10 minutes of downtime about once or twice a week. Plugging in universal constants of nature like uh, ratios of 137.5077 or 0 0.23606 or 1.618 or uh, ratios. These are actually three-dimensional fractals. Obviously, you know, it cannot render three-dimensional fractals, but it takes... Uh, you can plug in three-dimensional renderings and let the fractal render out what the three-dimensional fractal would look like, obviously in two dimensions. So I create all of these fractals by uh, plugging in uh, variables. Um, I rarely plug in a random variable, so I actually get a lot of uh, constants of nature like this. This is a hypertrochoid pattern. Well, that one is too, but let me go back here. This hypertrochoid pattern that I created. Of course, I can choose whatever colors that I want to render the fractal as. Um, the program is incredibly complex, but I can actually render all the angles and the uh, iteration values using... Uh, universal constants in nature, some of which are my discoveries, some of which are obviously known, like the golden ratio, but some are my discoveries, um, like uh, magnetic reciprocation ratios, also uh, not my discovery, but like the golden angle, 137.5077 degrees, and use these in various uh, iterations or compounded iterations to uh, create these uh, pieces of fractal artwork. Um, so, if you know a lot of uh, repeating numbers within nature, the most basic level, you can plug those into the framework of a uh, blank fractal program, a really complicated one like this one, You're not just any fractal program and let it render. Most fractal programs are two-dimensionally rendering. This one actually renders in three dimensions and that's why I like it. However, it's taken it's taken many years in working with this program called the Fractal Architect to uh, be able to uh, use it uh, successfully and I can never say with ease but be able to use it successfully. You never know what the fractal is going to render especially when you're pl plugging in um, various uh, rendered values compounded on top of each other. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick look. I wished uh, I'd have to have a supercomputer, but if I had a supercomputer I could actually use a program like this and actually zoom in around this fractal uh, in real time in three dimensions, but uh, we're talking about some uh, hardcore. Now this one is actually just taking a, a single variable and plugging it in to represent the release of inertia. So you could choose the colors and how they render. This is uh, numbers that I plugged in. I rendered it in two different colors. Numbers that I plugged in to uh, represent uh, the loss of inertia and to represent magnetism. It rendered it on its side, so if you could actually look at this turned 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, these are the numbers I plugged in for a magnetism and I rendered it in a secondary color for better contrast definition. Uh, it could be fun, certainly relaxing. I uh, thought I'd give you a look into you know do photography stuff all the time. Uh, by the way, uh, complex unique fractals like this is uh, better than a human fingerprint or a signature. Um, I'm actually working on uh, information to uh, use uh, complex uh, personal fractals. Where you actually plug in a, a string of a series of plug-in numbers to create a wholly original fractal and someone could use that as their uh, watermarked uh, blueprint to uh, 
represent a, a copyright mark and uh, it would uh, be absolutely impossible for anybody to duplicate a uh, multi uh, plug-in uh, unique uh, fractal uh, like this so that would be uh, someone's uh, personal watermark and uh, it would be absolutely impossible to uh, uh, to uh, counterfeit uh, a watermark like this so anyway I wouldn't bore you to death I thought I'd give you a look at some of my fractal fractal artwork that I like to do Catch you later. Bye.